What's up, everybody? Josh and Joe here from Ramrods Archery. This is our first Ramrods Reacts. We're going to be watching some of the matches from the World Cup final that just took place. We've tried to stay off of social media and not see any spoilers, and we're just going to jump into these matches and tell you our thoughts. All right, so we've got bronze medal matchup first. Mate versus Kim Did Jidyok. Uh, what's your prediction, Josh? Hmm. I got to go Team Ramrods. I'm, I'm rooting for Mete on this one. I... I gotta say advantage Mete slightly based on experience. All right, let's see it. History books as a medalist at the finale of the season. It's Kim J. Duke to get us underway in this bronze medal match. Looked comfortable, kind of quick. A little bit of a longer hold than typical oh. for Mete, but he puts it in there. Looks Looking steady, wow. three X's in a row. Oh, okay. Just a touch high. Not stoked on that, but... Oh, Ooh, both of them a little high. Mete has room Eight for recovery. star, now. okay. Let's get back into good groove. A little bit longer hold. Nice That's shot. All right. it's, it's in there. He, he pulled it back from that nine and still won the set. Slipped a little bit, but it's, it's awesome to feel like within a... Within one set, you can yeah. have a little slip, but then drive it home with another great shot. All right, I think they're both probably a little warmed up now. A little bit of a longer hold. Ah, oh, still pounding. On that first shot. Both ends in a row. Oh, Matching each other. You guys are shooting wads in the upper 10 here. A little bit of a drift. I Look felt like, like I saw a little flinch there, but it's still a 10, so good enough. Uh, wow. No no movement on the follow through there, just driving it right towards the center. It's clean. That looked oh. good. That looked good. All right, Mete's got to send a message. So he was given a little opening to recover on that first set, but second set, he's got to shoot perfect. Oh, Which he almost does. We're talking a centimeter. That was so close. Just a little bit of a wobble, maybe. Okay. You can't be mad with a 29, but you want wow. to see that's, a little more breathing room. So that's room. three ends in a row. Kim shoots a 10 on his first shot. Oh, these guys have their X count is through the roof right now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. 9.7, 9.8. You got another chance. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I am surprised yeah. at that shot just a little bit. It's not how I would choose it. It's probably not how he would choose to do it. It's just trying to get your body to commit, to keep moving. Sorry, I missed what great end. set points they were at. So they, they were tied, and now he's got a 10 to take it. Wow. Okay, so 3-3. Three, three. Lucky. The, the level that these guys are at, to be able to have little wobbles and have like a 9-6, but then all their normal shots are like 10-5 10, 10, and up. Just struggling to uh, hit, just struggling to keep going. Mete showing a little something with his with that his is, finger, is, maybe acknowledging a little get, flinch. You get your bottom limb over your uh, your backhand shoulder. You, that's working for it. Shoulder. <laughs> you got to. Oh, I think that's tens. out. I don't think. Uh, I think that was out as well. Yeah. That look clean. Oh, wow. Jeez, Louise. Wow. Oh, big uh -oh. opening! Big uh -oh. opening. Now, he is not moving. looking as confident. Oh, uh, gets it. I think Mete is kind of feeding on that opening a little bit here. Oh, okay, that's in, I think. Right back a little bit. But a nine to win. Oh, and that's a 30. Good shooting. So 5-3, I mean, Jeez, Louise. Kim's still been shooting fantastic. He can definitely come back. I mean, Mete has two arrows and out. And push the shoot off. Always like to see him smile. Just the relaxed nature he is I in think, these big matches. I think there's something about being able to stay chill when it's a stressful environment. So we missed Mete, Mete's initial shot. It was a nine, but he has a chance to tie it up again now. A bit tired, a little bit switching. Oh. I mean, that works. So Kim absolutely needs a 10 here to have a chance. A little bit longer. Fade off. Ah, I, I mean, it's high. a good group. It's just out a little on the top. 
How good do those red ultras look on Matisse bow, man? Pretty clean. A little bit longer. Oh, wow. That's good enough. Oh. So two real big bow arm throws for Mete in this match. Yeah. But he did it. He pulled off that bronze. Good shooting yeah. by, by both of them. I mean, that was a really good match. I, again, it's just amazing to see people shoot their average shot and have it be middle 10 and in. Yeah. Um, and then to have these longer holds where they're not really getting that weak or wobbly. And yeah, it's dicey. Like they, they could have done better and should have done better, but they're still hitting nine twos, nine fives. Um, both of them probably only had, had more than 50% tens on that. And within that probably in almost every single first arrow was a 10. Like they were just starting off aggressively yeah. with every first shot, regardless of who shot first. And just um, a lot of, a lot of arrows hitting in a part in a portion of the X ring or 10 ring where you're just like, there's no, there's no doubt no about question. the location of that. You could say maybe a little bit on the execution, there could have been things improved, but just, I don't know. Below average shots making 10, five and better. Okay. So Miguel, a lot more experience than I thought. Kim Woo Jin leading off. Ah, oh, the second nine like of his to tournament. See that. A uh, comfortable shot. Uh, okay, not in. The okay. Were they both left? No, he was low. low. Okay. So Kim Woo Jin looking comfortable. Shot. Closer. Miguel pushed that one over a little bit. He was trying to compensate for something. Do breathing room. Nobody else has had this much breathing room. No. Ah, dang it. Unfortunate. So Kim Woo Jin dropped more points that first time than the entire uh, tournament so far. <laughs> Miguel is is low, but moving across. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, he's got it. You really want to find the 10. So Kim is starting to get a little more comfortable now. Mm -hmm. Skated by on that first set a little bit with a 28. I mean, Miguel's shots look good. Like, he, look, he doesn't look too stressed out. He looks reasonably comfortable. Uh, okay. Miguel's got to start dialing some X's in there. Oh, my God. It's right there, man. Move your sight a couple clicks, please. I know he's been going back and forth left, but he's yeah. too low, he's and he's not giving himself up. a chance. For a lead. He's still got potential to fight back here, but Kim Woojin is so strong. So that's, that's uh, Kim's, like, fifth 30, sixth, sixth, seventh 30? Seventh, I believe. Uh. It's a perfect 30. Yes. Right, there, we there we go. go. Okay. Come on, Miguel. Push back a little bit here. So comfortable shot, but still getting in the 10 there for Kim. Ooh, saw a little creep uh, before the follow through on that shot with the elbow moving forward. Yeah. And I think just Kim's floating just, around the he's 10 just doing here. what he does now. He's warmed up. He's comfortable. Good shot. I mean, that's that's a good pushback. I'm happy to see that. If, if I, I you, kind of like yeah. to see it go to a fourth end here. Get a little more action. Just a little more, a lot longer hold, not his normal. Oh, wow. okay. And we get our wish. We, Miguel has another chance here. Give him a tiny bit of breathing room. After yeah. that first end, that was a gift, but now he fought for that one, so. Now Miguel knows he cannot waste this chance. He's got to be on. I mean, he fixed the low issue. I don't know if it's issue. his anchor or something, maybe just a little bit off, pushing those high. Ooh, I think that's Ooh, out. Ooh, that is out. Lefty Pro made an adjustment, just overcooked it slightly, maybe. Oh, damn. Now Man. Just a little bit less consistency floating around that gold. I mean, those are good shots, good shots. but like he, he's probably lost four or five points, just a, a little bit of that consistency. Touch there. high, touch low. There you go. go okay, time. okay. Another nine could extend it. Don't get often a lot of those with Kim, but. Ah, and, and now that one's in. Kim Woo -jin Damn. Good match, good match. Yeah. 
Showed a little more hum uh, bit of being a human there than the first couple matches, maybe. Yeah. But um, but yeah, that's uh, that's where you just you're looking to have so many things dialed in and so much forgiveness in your own shot process and cycle. Mm -hmm. I think we saw that with with Mete and Kim De Jok. Um, we saw that with with Kim Woo Jin. Um, and if Miguel had just a little bit more, he would have really pushed that, I think, to a 4-4 or 5-5 situation. I really just wonder how that match would have gone if he would have just maybe adjusted a little bit more aggressively on that first end, or was that not a side issue and that was actually just a little bit being off or uncomfortable on the process because it seemed like he adjusted, he got back to the middle, got a little more comfortable after gaining some set points and then was high yeah, maybe being indicative of now he's shooting his shot as he wants to, and those shots that are now a nine would have been a ten had he not moved to sight. He, so it's hard to say for sure. He's a great archer. He was just floating around the nine, right? There were no eights in that entire. He didn't match. have any bad shots. But when you're at when at these levels against these type of people, you only get a couple times of like uh, an arrow goes your way, an arrow goes against them. You have some openings in the match. You have some openings in your brackets. And he was close, just wasn't quite dialed. Um, great performance still to take second place. Again, that's still a 10 plus You can still be proud of that. Kind of grand prize there. I think he'll take some learning from that for sure. And it's, it's learning for all of us too watching because uh, just the level of consistency of these guys is, uh, again, that's not necessarily just shot execution and confidence and mental consistency. That... That's little things on your shot consistency, about how you set up your your grip, your hook, um, tune your bow. I mean, we saw a lot of people who were just really dialed, and their bow seemed very forgiving, mm -hmm. and was still finding the inner uh, gold um, even when they weren't perfect. For sure. Wow, this was fun. I like watching it kind of all condensed and and having it all be surprises. Um, congrats to Team Ramrods. For, for getting there and putting on a good showing. And, and wow. Yeah. Kiwi Jin's matches were beast. That was cool to it's see. It's exciting. It's exciting to see somebody shoot so well, but also be human and have to fight back a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes if they just clean, it can be, it can be hard to read what's actually going on. Um, and maybe that's more possible in smaller tournaments or even maybe a, a regular world cup but there's a lot at stake here for the world cup final in terms of prestige in terms of kind of your um, legacy as an archer in terms of uh, a lot of winnings obviously but um it's exciting to be able to read into more of the archers a little bit to see them battle against people who can really push them mm -hmm. and um, i'm looking forward to to doing some more matches and some more uh, tournaments because it's exciting for us to see when archers are are um, pushed and they're um, they've met their equals in terms of skill. Well, this was episode one of Ramrods Reacts. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna get um, more of this type of content coming in the future. So please let us know what kind of reaction content and match breakdowns you want to see. Um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos and. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, tune in for the uh, compound commentary as well. We'll be doing that pretty soon too. So again, like and subscribe. Um, more subscribers we get, the more uh, content we can get out to you guys. And we will see you again soon.